Our students are addressing a range of problems across the ocean. Students like Olivia are looking at compelling problems involving coastal resiliency and what's happening to our shorelines as we're experiencing increasing storms or sea level rise. What we're doing is we're making a digital elevation model, a 3D map, and we're going to compare it over many months and see how the beach changes as that sand sort of gets pushed down and moved through the waves and cycled through. Zach Zdavonsky and several other students are tackling problems involving sustainable aquaculture. They're working with fishery scientists and aquaculture scientists to build the next generation of aquaculture farms. Getting to work on a project like this is, is I find it rewarding. There's not many macroalgae farms in the United States and it has so much potential to benefit just the entire population in terms of, of biofuel and, and food in a sustainable way. This expansion has allowed us to grow an undergraduate program, of which there's so few nationwide. It's allowed us to expand our research base for our graduate students. It's allowed us to expand our academic programming to the broader College of Engineering and Physical Sciences community through a new Innovation Scholars program. When we look around at what other universities have in terms of similar resources, it's far and few between, and I think that really makes UNH unique. It's not just that we have those facilities either, it's how we use them. If a professor is trying to explain a concept to you in the classroom, it's a lot easier for them to bring you to their lab and show you hands-on what they're doing than just to explain it on the board. I think fundamentally it sort of begins there and around that, what that has attracted are researchers and scientists that care passionately about the ocean and that have their research oriented at solving fundamental ocean science problems. We are so proud of our alumni. We have students spanning the range of ocean engineering space. What we're hearing is that they're exceptionally well prepared. They are grounded engineering principles. These are critical sets of skills that are really going to allow them to be the next generation of problem solvers that we so desperately need.